Hi everyone, my name is Jörg. I am a photographer from Berlin and together with you I would like to take a closer look at some of my photos. You will learn something about how I use Adobe Stock. So let's start. I do different kind of work. Street photography, urban landscape, architecture, aerial photography and travel photography. I have my own projects and I work for different companies. And since four years, I'm a Lumix ambassador. In this tutorial, I will show you how I use Adobe Stock for my travel pictures. I made these pictures on my trip to Finland last month. In the city of Tampere, I found some wooden houses. Each of them has a different color. I like it very much, but I had no luck with the weather. I was in a hurry because I had to go back to Helsinki. So I hadn't the chance to wait for the perfect light. This is why I decided to take a picture of every tiny wooden house. I edit the photos with Adobe Lightroom. Now I do some basic editing in Lightroom. I start with the tones because the picture is a bit too dark. But I wouldn't lose the structure of the sky in that moment. First of all, I change the white level and the black level of the photo. After then, I adjust the highlights and shadows. The next step is to adjust the white balance. To get a kind of pastel look, I basically use split toning. In this case, I make the highlights a bit bluish and the shadow yellow. After that, I work on the colors of the house. Mainly, I intensify orange, purple and magenta. The house in combination with the plants work fine for me, but the sky isn't pretty, isn't it? So I will change the sky. First I separate the sky from the foreground. In this case it is a bit tricky because of the green leaves. Then I need a new sky. I didn't find the perfect sky in my own archives so I decided to search for it on Adobe Stock. It is very easy to search at Adobe Stock. You just have to use some keywords like sky and pastel clouds. The sky that I chose I put into Photoshop and adjust it. That's it. As I mentioned before, the trees are a bit tricky. Finally, I have to do some fine tuning with the leaves and some editing. To sum it up, you will often have a light situation that is far from being perfect for a photographer. Then, and in many other cases, Adobe Stock is a very helpful tool. Let's try it out. It is very easy to use.